Hi, my name is Amy and welcome to Amy Loses It, where I'm on a journey to lose 180 pounds. Yes, I said that right. <laughs> 180 pounds. And today on this video, I would like to go over the basal metabolic rate calculator. Now that is the BMR calculator that most dietitians, medical professionals, and people like me use to calculate the calories that we need to intake in order to lose the weight that I want to lose. So I'm going to screen record that and go through that with you. Now I have literally just gone to Google and Googled BMR and you'll see that there are tons of uh, of calculators that come up. There's tons of videos. And honestly, I have looked at a lot of them and I think, and I believe the one that I normally use is from garnethealth.org. So that's the one that I'm going to show you today. Now there are other ones that do show you different tables. So you can go through there and choose the different tables. Uh, this one uses a particular table that I'm comfortable with it, it kind of gives you the lowest basal metabolic rate calcul or calories. But honestly, the difference between all of the tables that I tried was so minimal that it's nothing to worry about. I think it was maybe a 50 to 100 uh, calorie range per day. So yeah, honestly, it's really nothing to worry about. So I'm just going to scroll down and go and put in my age. I'm 51. I'm female. I'm all of five foot tall. So inches, that's 60 inches. And then currently, uh, so, okay, I have to do math here. So I've lost 38 pounds from 304. 38 minus 304, 266 pounds. Yeah, I know. I should know that. <laughs> So put your information in and then just hit the calculate button and you can see that it says my basal metabolic rate should be 1743 calories per day. Now that is with just lying in bed and breathing. That does not take into account getting up to go to the bathroom, getting up to cook yourself food, uh, and just general, uh, living. <laughs> so you actually do want to start on the calculator with the activity level of little to no exercise. So that should be your minimum calories that you should be intaking if you're trying to maintain your weight. Now, I do want to point out that I'm not a medical professional. I am not a doctor, but I was taught this by a dietitian. So um, I'm not just spouting something randomly. I've learned off of the internet. Uh, this is medical advice that I was given, but it may not be the right medical advice for you. So just take this as a learning experience, but make sure you check with your medical provider. Now, as of right now, like this particular week, I've done little to no exercise. Uh, that will change <laughs> starting tomorrow. And I'll talk about that later in the video. So that means that I should be eating 2,092 calories to maintain my weight. Now, overall, my goal has been to lose 1.5 pounds per week. Now, one pound in calories is equal to 3,500. So if I want to lose 1.5, I multiply the 3,500 calories times 1.5. Sorry, 1.5. And that comes out to 5,250 calories that I need to take out of my diet in a seven day period. So if I'm looking to lose 1.5 pounds in a seven day period, I need to take out 5,250 calories. And I divide that by seven to see what I need to take out per day. So that comes out to 750 calories deficit under the 2,092 that I need to eat in a day to supposedly well, lose 1.5 pounds. Now this is if everything in my body was perfectly normal and healthy and responded the way that it should. But we all know that I am on set bound <laughs> because my body does not. But all in all, so that would mean that this week I need to intake a 1,342 calories per day in order to hit my goal of 1.5 pounds. So that is kind of what I'm going to set my target. And that, you know, that does seem a little low, but especially being on the set bound 
it is very easy to eat within 1,342 calories. Now I do not look at it as, oh, I must hit that exactly every single day. I kind of like take the week as one chunk. So Monday through Sunday, I'm trying to average 1,342 calories per day. So maybe one day I eat 1,000. Maybe the next day I eat 1,500. So I try not to be too strict uh, about it because, right, it's all about balance and mental health as well. So, you know, I think that's something important that you need to keep in mind when we're doing these calorie restrictions is that really the most important thing is your mental health and wellness as well as your physical wellness. If you are feeling ill and faint and 1,342 calories are not enough for you, then talk to your medical provider. Maybe there's another solution. Uh, Maybe you need to go up on your calories and hydrate, 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 hydrate. Uh, Make sure that you're drinking enough water to be well hydrated, um, you know, but there is a limit to water that you should be drinking in a day. So just do some research and figure out what is best for you. Now, chat GPT told me that for my body, about 90 ounces of water per day is the goal that I should be looking for. And I know that's a little low compared to what other people have publicized or what they tout that they're drinking, but you know, I'm a short person. (laughs) I may have a lot of uh, volume to me, but you know, I am a smaller person. So 90, 90 ounces of water is actually really tough for me to get in in a day. Now, if you look at the calculator, you'll notice that as you add light exercise or moderate exercise, your calorie intake does go up, right? Because you're burning more calories. Now I had actually tried uh, doing a step challenge to try and lose or burn enough calories and calorie restrict enough to be at 2.5 pounds of weight loss. Now, I know that seems ridiculous, but because my body does not uh, lose weight at the 1.5 pound per week, even if I eat in the calorie deficit, I was thinking, oh, well, if I go up, if I add in exercise to burn an extra 500 calories per day and I'm eating my 750 calorie deficit uh, per day, then maybe, just maybe I'll hit my 1.5. Well, (laughs) if you go back through my videos and watch my weight updates, it doesn't necessarily work that way for me. But What it did do was it did increase my endurance and my stamina and overall made me feel better by getting out there and getting exercise. So that experiment wasn't for nothing, right? I did have some good results uh, with that. So I just encourage you to give the uh, basal metabolic calculator a try and uh, see what it comes out for you. And maybe it could be a useful tool. Sorry, I had to stop for allergies. But maybe it could be a useful tool for you to help monitor and moderate your calorie intake to make sure that you're hitting the deficit that you need to lose weight. Now, there are a lot of people that take trisepatide or semi-glutide, you know, Ozembic, uh, Manjaro, Wingovi, Zepbound. There's a lot of people on the medications that don't have to monitor their calories. But for some of us, Uh, We call us the turtle clubs. The turtle clubs definitely need to monitor what we're eating. So uh, it's almost almost a little neurotic at some point. But it's just going to be up to you as an individual on how much you monitor your calories and how strict you are with what you intake. But I just thought this was a useful tool uh, that may be able to help someone out there. And don't forget when you're using the basal metabolic rate calculator that as you're losing weight or adding or subtracting activity to your day, that you should just go ahead and recalculate your calories if it's going to be more than a week or two of these changes. Uh, That, you know, that has really helped me along the way. Uh, You know, as I'm losing weight, usually every 20 pounds, I go in and I recalculate my calories. Okay, maybe more like 10. But I do keep an eye on it. I don't obsess about it. Uh, But I do make sure that I'm changing my calorie intake, especially if I see a slowdown. So just be mindful of that, that, you know, as your lifestyle's changing, 
to just update uh, your daily minimum calorie intake. So now that you know how the BMR calculator works, I want to actually use that the next couple of weeks uh, to set myself a mini goal. So ultimately, I would really like to be down a total of 50 pounds by my next cruise, and that would bring me down to 254 pounds. Now, I don't really think that that's possible because I have had some weigh-ins since my last weigh-in that I publicized, which was actually week 39, shot 32. I was at 266 pounds. So that would mean that I'd need to lose 12 pounds between then and November 15th. But several weeks have gone by and I will be releasing those weigh-in videos shortly. So um, I'm going to do my best. Um, I have this mini goal to get down. I would really be happy to get down to 258 pounds because that would be 10 pounds lost since my last cruise. So it would be two months, so five pounds per month. That would be super duper amazing. So I think I'm going to set my activity level at moderate and look at my calories for that. And then I'm going to calculate, okay, well, how much do I need to lose per week? And then also I'm going to be adding calorie deficit by exercising. So my goal is to kind of try this technique that I've heard people use before is about 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes after you eat. To get in uh, between 15 to 20 minutes sustained exercise every single meal. Now I eat two meals a day, so lunch and dinner. So I'm just going to try and rearrange my schedule that that makes it possible for me to in the middle of the workday to eat my lunch, have a rest period, and then do my exercise. Uh, even if it's like jogging in place while I'm a, on a phone call or during a meeting, or if I have some other reading to do, I'm really going to try that for the next couple of weeks and see how that works. So uh, wish me luck. <laughs> uh, I've never actually hit a weight loss goal before, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm really like my minimum goal would be down to 258, which from 266 is um, eight pounds, or to get all the way down to 254 four, which would be 12 pounds. Now, I don't know that I'm going to hit either of those and I'm not going to be heartbroken. I'm not really caught that caught up in the number, but it just gives me something to focus on some small incremental goal. So wish me luck. And uh, I hope that if you're doing one of these challenges as well for yourself, uh, that you have uh, excellent success at it. Until next time, uh, thank you for joining me here on Amy Loses It, and we'll see if I can lose the weight before I lose my mind. Have a fabulous day. Four cats, one scale, and a suitcase to pack. Zap bound in hand, there's no looking back. Cruising through this journey, non-scale victories divine. But can Amy lose the weight without losing her mind?